Here we got Eric Muniz taking on Matias Luna. Eric representing Dream Art. Matias representing Checkmat. Eric, like we said, number two seed in this black belt open class. And he's another guy who I think is really going to be looking for some submissions today. Matias Luna, scrapper, you know, loves to really go for it. Standing, you know, bottom, top lane, what he'll go, will do anything. And it's, you know, it's a good match against Muniz to kind of a contrast in styles. But as you said, Muniz really wants to go for submission. I think we, we talk about this again, where he really wants to show that, you know, he is also one of the most dominant guys out there. The other favorite in the absolute. And, um, yeah, just got amazing technique. Just one of the standouts from that Dream Art Academy. Doing a great job of just controlling the pants, far collar, getting Luna's hips to the mat. Yeah, Eric's a two-time world champion. He's made it to the final of the open class at the world, so he is not lacking any technique or strategy or jiu-jitsu. Comes up on top for the two and takes an early lead in this match. Comes up on top and, and notice like just in a smashing position right away, not giving any space for Luna to kind of uh, set up. Having said that, Luna gets foot on the bicep right away, up on the single leg X. See if Eric tries to peel his feet off and maybe go for a back step. He's really good at that pass. I think nothing would suck more than try than having Eric like, you know, back step a <laughs> single leg on top of you. He's a big dude. He is a big dude, and he's long. He can create a lot of space. And he can move, and it's... There he yeah, goes, trying to peel that is. foot off the hip. Tries to almost step over yeah. that inside leg. But Matias doing a good job with that right leg, maintaining it in front of, in front of Eric, keeping it on his hips. You guys are hearing the screams at home. Uh, Wenderson Ferreira on uh, Matt's 10, I believe, was just submitted. I'll show you guys, uh, hopefully we'll show you a replay of the submission, but I believe he just got submitted by Dimitri Souza from uh, Alliance. Eric and Matias are gonna reset in the middle. Eric had a nice little back take attempt. He went out of bounds. He's up 2 nothing in this match versus Matias. Quarterfinals, black belt, adult, open class at the 2023 Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships. It looks like Eric's gonna get two for that. Restart to the action here. Eric Muniz up 4 nothing. He gets Matias Luna. Just over halfway through the match. We'll see if Eric tries to get back to his guard. If you guys are watching at home, you can uh, go to bjjcompsystem.com to take a look at the brackets. Um, and if you missed any matches, all the matches are archived on flowgrappling.com. So you can go back, you know, go through the brackets, see what matches are there, skim through, check out the archives, see if you missed any match action. A lot of great matches in the color belt divisions yeah. earlier this week too. So if you guys want to go back and watch those. Plenty yes. of submissions, plenty of great world-class jiu-jitsu. Especially the brown belts, that's uh, the division to really keep an eye on. You know, we saw Cole Abate standing out there. Um, just the, those are going to be the, the big stars come two, three years from now in the black belt division, so. Maybe less than that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Eric and Matias still fighting for grips on the feet. Matias looking for a little foot sweep. He goes for it again. Now three minutes and 20 seconds left in this match. Quarterfinal between 
Eric Muniz from Dream Art. Matias Luna from Checkmat. Eric now gets to his guard, gets to close guard. It was a handstand close guard yeah. call. I haven't seen that one. Very interesting. Was able to maintain the grip, too, yeah. and not get the penalty without the grip. That was the first handstand <laughs> close guard pull of this competition. I haven't seen that since 1988 skateboarding competitions <laughs> a in hand Costa Mesa. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see another one of those today. Hopefully we will. <laughs> This is a dangerous place to be inside Eric Muniz's closed guard. Yeah, especially the size, his technique, um, his ability with the lapels to incorporate lapel sweep and submission. He's just, it's just a bad spot to be in, you know, and it's, it's with two minutes and 23 seconds left down four nothing. This is a very, very, very tough spot for Luna to kind of escape from and you know if he can even just get out of the close guard it's it's a whole it's a complete game changer but Luna's is so damn dominant it's it's gonna be tough. Yeah if Eric doesn't want to open his guard if he wants to keep it closed it's gonna be really tough for Matias to, to open it on his own volition. But there he goes he gets it open gets his knee in the middle. Eric looks like he's trying to get to his Delahiva control that right leg. Oh, Luna now sitting up. Kind of, it almost looked like he sat back on the foot, but he conceded the position, and uh, Muniz is going to get two for that sweep. Eric Muniz up 6-0 over Matias Luna. Just a minute 30 left in this one. Quarterfinal match. One year will advance to the semifinals of the Black Belt Adult Male Open Class. One thing I've noticed about Eric Muniz recently, he competed at the Curitiba Open a couple weekends ago and he was really focused on his guard passing and his submissions. So let's see what he can do on top here against Matias. is kind of under the leg, sending up a kind of a single leg X guard type position, trying to control the far sleeve. Eric doing a great job keeping pressure with his right knee forward, really making it difficult for, for Matias to stretch him out and get anything going. Yeah, it's 60 seconds left. Muniz doesn't really have to do anything at this point. And, uh, you know, no pressure. You know, it's not like he's the underdog or anything, so he just has to kind of ride the clock here, which makes it so frustrating for his opponent. Yeah, Matisse is doing a good job transitioning between guards and kind of keeping them off balance, Absolutely. but it's very difficult for him to set up a sweep and, and really make up this point differential. Yeah, I, I think uh, win, lose, or draw, Luna's always moving, and he's always exciting, and he's always trying. He's kind of the best of what you you know you want to see in, in jiu-jitsu competitors. Sometimes that formula it doesn't always equal wins because he's more about trying hard and almost like putting on a show and uh, but you, you know throwing strategy out the window sometimes you know that's just not his style is to be strategic but that's why he's excited you know it's just it's always good to watch his matches he's always going for submissions even to the last second like you know just trying to get an ankle lock there but against Eric Muniz it's a very very tall task to take on That'll be the end of this one. Eric Muniz getting the victory, 6-0. He's going to advance to the semifinals, the Black Belt Adult Male Open Class at the 2023 Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships. We're going to take a look at a submission from another mat here. I believe it's with Fionn Davies' match. Shortly after we get the official decision here. There we go, Eric Muniz. Your winner, as we saw.